what up what up what up you already know who this is it's your boy a to the you know what i'm saying sitting here in the big dog rapping all day every day the packers <clears throat> uh, i want to give a couple shout outs shout out to the homie billy sean lakes uh uh edp what up my nigga um we play y'all. Uh, play the Eagles Monday night. Play against them faggot fucks who can't, who ain't caught a pass since last year. <laughs> y'all suck dick. Um, but before I get into the whole Monday night get down with the Packers and the Eagles, um, I want to talk about uh, what's been going on with the Packers. Uh. See what time it is. 5 30 out here in California. G Shock. Um, yeah, this video is sponsored by G Shock if they still in business. But it, anyway, um It's been a lot going on with this team. A lot of injuries, a lot of old former players, uh talking shit in the media, Greg Jennings, Jermichael Finley, even Brett Favre wrote some bullshit in his book. Um all of the media, the, the critics, the analysts, y'all just been talking shit. Major fucking shit about Aaron Rodgers and, and and how well he's playing and his family family issues and and what's going on with him in the locker room. He's not a rah rah guy. I just got I got one thing to say to y'all. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Y'all going this far to talk about a two-time MVP, Super Bowl MVP, arguably one of the well, arguably the best talented quarterback in NFL history. And you got guys out there that's shitty as hell playing a quarterback position and not living up to the money that they making. Ryan Tannenhill. Andy Dalton. The list goes on, man. It's a whole bunch of the motherfucking quarterbacks in the NFL that's just trash. Trash. Brock Osweiler. Trevor Simeon. Shit, Cam Newton. This nigga having a bum-ass year. But nah, everybody want to know, what's going on with Aaron Rodgers? Bringing up all these rumors and shit. Fuck Carcino and that dumbass fucking video he made. But anyway, now that I got that bullshit out the way, let's get into this whole Ted Thompson, Mike McCarthy bullshit. I've been telling the guys on Facebook, that's that's uh, on Packer News, uh, that group, that they are full of shit. They always want to go back to the past well in 2010 if you go back and look there this is not 2000 fucking 10 it's not last time i checked it was fucking november 23rd 2016 we need to stop dwelling on the past and start figuring out how the hell we gonna get through the future Now, Ted Thompson, you've had a shitload of fucking time, bro, to fix the fucking defense. And you haven't done it. This defense is fucking trash. The whole draft and development bullshit, that has to stop. We cannot we cannot do that anymore. Aaron Rodgers is what? In this 11th fucking year in the NFL? And you still trying to draft and develop? Fix the fucking defense. And the way you do that is by firing Don Capers. Either you're going to fire Don Capers, right? 
are you going to go in the off season? You going are you either you're going to keep them and you're going to go in the off season and you're going to get free agents to fix the defense. Now, injuries happen. I understand that. I understand why you don't want to go get free agents for defense. Because you don't want to get a guy, spend all this money on a guy, and then he don't produce. He don't do what uh, Reggie White did. He don't do what fucking Cullen Jenkins did. He don't do what uh, uh, um, Charles Woodson did. You know what I mean? Even though Charles Woodson was an injury-prone motherfucker, too. But, you know, you get it. He, could, he he was able to manage his injuries and still play and still produce. You know what I'm saying? Now, the defense is trash. We let go of Tremont Williams, Nick Collison. You know what I'm saying? I'm thankful for Ha Ha Clinton Dix and Morgan Burnett and Micah Hyde. You know, those guys, you know, yeah, keep them. But the, the the these young guys, I'm like, now you're regretting the letting go go of Chris Banjo. I know you are now. <laughs> Demetrius Good Goodson, come on, man. I love the guys you got in the. I love the guys that y'all got in the draft. Rollins and, and and Miller, Quinn Rollins and Miller. You know those guys are good. You know what I'm saying? They just young and inexperienced, but they're good. And then you you let go of Casey Hayward, and he's having a fabulous season over there with the fucking San Diego Chargers. It makes no fucking sense at all for us to be as good as we are and the defense still be trash for like the last five seasons in a row. I knew that fucking, oh, the Green Bay Packers are number one at stopping the run this year in defense. That was a fucking hoax, man. <laughs> We wasn't really playing against no good running backs until we ran into fucking Ezekiel Elliott and lost that home to the fucking LGBT cowboy community. Mike McCarthy. <laughs> that 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 seat's starting to heat up a little bit. I still have faith in you. You still my coach. But a lot of Packer fans out there they out there throwing your name through the mud, man. You, Ted Thompson, and motherfucking uh, Don Capers. Motherfuckers is out there on a fucking uh, 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 revolution, marching the streets, pig with 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 signs ready to 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 impeach you, motherfuckers from the, from the office. They want to see a, a change. I don't think there's no need for a change. Maybe with Ted Thompson. Maybe with Don Capers, but not with Mike McCarthy. You just can't get rid of a coach like that, like this. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of work to do, man. Four and six, playing against the Eagles. Do I see us winning that? When it went, do I do? Do I see us winning the game? I see us winning the game if the Eagles wide receivers go out there. And drop passes like they did last week against Seattle. <laughs> I've been seeing a whole lot of hate on Nelson Aguilar. Hey, look, check this out, man. Y'all might as well, y'all might as well, y'all y'all might as well have done the same thing to motherfucking Jordan Matthews last year when his non-catching ass was dropping passes. Even Darren Sproles was dropping passes. Shit, all the motherfuckers was dropping passes that Sam Bradford was putting on the money to the motherfuckers. Ain't nothing different about that now. You got Carson Wentz putting the ball in a, in, in, in a position for y'all to catch the ball, and y'all motherfuckers just not catching it. Now, y'all might be able to catch it against this secondary. This secondary loves getting burnt from the last four weeks we've been playing. I don't have no problems with the offense that, that we got. You know, the Eagles, they're, they're a decent de defense. Decent, you know what I'm saying? But they could still lose this game. They could still lose this game. Yeah, I, I know a lot of people say, Dallas is an accident waiting to happen. So are the fucking Eagles. So are the motherfucking Sheagle Smeagle Eagles. No disrespect, EDP. But you know what I'm saying? We playing y'all punk ass, bitch ass motherfucking niggas this week. And y'all motherfuckers, I, I can't wait to see your rant video if, if y'all lose. I can't wait to see that shit, man. Because I'm going to be commenting on all your shit. Rubbing it in. 
just driving a dagger through your motherfucking pain for your team. <laughs> but now that you know, I'm not going. I'm gonna cut this video short because I'm out here on the road. Uh, I want to wish everybody uh, a happy fucking Thanksgiving. Whatever, I don't give a fuck about Thanksgiving, but I am thankful. But uh, go pack, go. I could see us winning this game probably 24, 21, 28, 21. At this point in time, the Packers have to play uh, no fucks given football. And hopefully it turns out into a win. Just so I could see EDP tears room apart again and again and again. Shout out to Nelson Aguilar. That's my nigga, USC. What up, bruh? Let's go. Let's go, Nelson Aguilar. I'm rooting for you this I'm rooting for you this week, bro. I'm rooting for you on Monday night. I want I wanna I wanna I wanna see you drop every pass thrown to you, bruh. Hopefully it turn into some picks because obviously none of them motherfuckers on that team can catch. Shit, Carson Wentz might have to go out there and line up a, a, and pull a Russell Wilson. <laughs> Y'all let Russell Wilson catch a fucking touchdown. He had more catches than Nelson Aguilar. <laughs> uh -huh. But anyway, you see the G, because that's all I know how to be. I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Peace.